Hello, looks like the first person I can see is Renee. How are you, Renee? Welcome back in. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. As you come in, make sure you give a thumbs up to the live. If you look up and you realize you didn't give a thumbs up, make sure to give a thumbs up. Ashton Bull, how you doing? Lynette, Nicole Stucco, welcome back in. Hello, hi everybody and happy Wednesday. I can be more excited to see you all today. We're gonna have a good time today. Good, good, clean fun here at the Young's house. Miss B, welcome. Lynette, welcome. On the move, hello, aloha. Aloha, Ron, how are you? Glenda, Deanna, Sonia, welcome. Brenda Willis, welcome. Miss B, Maddie, Sherry Hinton, hello. Terrell Unknown, welcome. Ursula, welcome. Is that your name? Let me see. Yeah, Ursula, how are you? Mildred, welcome back. Karen Loins, hello. Martine, Martine, is it Martine or Martini? Welcome in. Vanessa, hello. Nancy, Denise Billups and Crockpot is in here. Angela and Saj, welcome, welcome. How are you? Javril, is that right? Javril? I could be totally wrong. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Hello, happy, happy Wednesday to everybody, y'all. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for coming in and joining today. Deku, welcome back. Alyssa Wooten, how are you? Karen and Miss B, Glenda. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Great, Renee. Thank you. I hope you all are excited. Eula, hello. Penny, hello. Debbie Gibson, welcome back. Donna Oliva. Uh, hold on, Donna. Let me see that name. I think I said that wrong. Donna Oliva? I think I may have said that name right. Sheree Tripp and Sandra, welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing? Pepper steak is on the menu. It is. Pepper steak is on the menu. It's a quick, easy, delicious recipe. And then we're going to chit chat for the rest of the evening. We're going to have a lot of fun. Alyssa Wooten, welcome, welcome. Patricia Tapley. Lois, hello, Ebony, Sheila, and Derek Eads, welcome, welcome back. Donna, hello, hello, Lois Jackson, Antoinette, hello. Valerie Allen, yes, how's everybody doing? Oh, it's not Penny, it's Rennie, welcome, Rennie. I love making pepper steak, okay, great. Donald, welcome back, how are you? Okay, this is great, everybody. Gwen Riley, good afternoon, Gina, and all the recipe, oh, you said all of the recipe family? <laughs> Hello. I want seafood platter, I'm about to order one. Oh my goodness, that sounds great. Yes, it does. Ashton, how you doing today? Shaquita, hello, hello. Debbie Gibson, Gina, would you send the finished steak to me? Sure, <laughs> sure, sure. And I tell you what, if you stay on here until the recipe is cooked, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to taste it. I'm going to give you all a bite so you'll get to taste some. Right? That's even better. You're going to get to taste it through the phone <laughs> or through your device. Antoine, uh, is it Antoine or Antoinette? Let's see, Antoine. Antoine Anderson, hello. Thank you. Sue H, hello. Karen Somerville, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am happy, y'all. Yes, Mildred says Derek is glad. You're glad to see Derek back. Absolutely, we're glad to see Derek. Yes, Miss B says the weather there today is 92. Oh my goodness. Wow. Marilyn, hello. Loretta Glover, Barbara Taylor, Shakira Sutton. I, I don't want to eat my dice. Let's see, what are you saying? You don't want to eat. Okay, so Shakira says, I don't want to eat my dice. I want to be there to eat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Janice, hello. I can eat pepper steak by itself. Me too, Donald. 
me too and i tell you what i have an amazing recipe set up for you all so now even if you're not cooking with me today make sure to take notes because this recipe is going to turn your taste if you got taste buds this recipe is going to turn your taste buds out and it's so easy to make and i i i, I just have to step in and say this it tastes so authentic when you taste this recipe, I'm not kidding. I'm not just saying it just because it's my recipe. I'm saying it because I have paired this recipe up against, um, you know, Chinese food pepper steak, and I feel like mine's is better. I feel like mine's is better, and you only way you can find out is if you make it yourself. Take notes if you're not cooking today. Is there anybody that's gonna be cooking with me today? If you're cooking, give me a red heart so I have an idea who's cooking with me. How you doing, Saj? Valencia, welcome. Welcome back. Some more, welcome. Uh, okay, so somebody says, Gwen says, I haven't had a good pepper steak since my dad passed. Oh my goodness, God bless his soul. Okay, well, I tell you what, you're going to have some good pepper steak once you try this recipe. Easy peasy recipe. So what we're going to do, I'm literally just going to give it like seven minutes for a few more people to come into the chat. And then I also, okay, I'm seeing some people in here cooking with me. I'm happy about that. All right, Miss Tracy, welcome from Philly. Oh, beef, neck, bones, and gravy. Okay, so what we're going to do. Um, I am going to give some people about seven minutes to get into the chat. Meanwhile, I need you all to bring the thumbs up up. Let's make the thumbs up match with you all that are in here. I see everybody that's in here and I can, I see who's giving a thumbs up. Only a hundred of you giving a thumbs up. Let's bring that thumbs up, make it match because I'm here to show you all a good day. The least you could do, give me a thumbs up. I'm taking notes. Okay, Dimitri. What's your name? Let me see. Da, let me see. Da, how do I say your name? Da, um, Dentrik. You're ha you have to tell me how to pronounce your name. Lulu, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Special K, Darlene Williams. Thank you, Glenda. Shelly Bailey, or let, let's see, Shelly, Shelly Holloman, welcome, 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 welcome. If there is any by chance that you're new, Iris, hello, or Lois, hello. If you're new, let me know that you're new just by saying, I'm new, and I would love to welcome you in such a way. But if at any time I miss anybody's name, I totally apologize. It's so hard to be one person and, and really get to every single message in here, okay? I see, I'm new here. There you go, I see it. Loyalty, welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining. But if there's any chance that you say I'm new and I miss it, the people in the background would love to welcome you. So still, let us know if you're in a chat and you're new. If there's anybody that's messaging me during this live and I happen to miss your message, maybe you can put up like a red stop sign and it'll pull my attention. But sometimes I have to take my eyes off of the, um, the messages. Otherwise, I'll be like this, try, trying to read the messages. You, you know, sometimes I got to take my eyes away so my eyes can rest. All right. It's like hours of just trying to read messages that are going like this, okay? I, I want to go nuts on the live. Nobody wants to see Gina go nuts on the live. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Can you use chicken instead of uh, steak? Absolutely you can. What a great question. So now, if you decide, yes, that's great. Oh, no, put better than takeout. Put better than takeout. Um... If you decide that you want to use chicken, I would suggest you're going to use a thin chicken breast. Let's just say you don't like chicken breast. A boneless, skinless, thin chicken breast. You could even use a boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Both would be delicious. And guess what else you can use in this recipe? Shrimp! 
If you wanted to, absolutely, okay? It's a whistle sound on your phone, Gina. Okay, it's a whistle sound. I, 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 are you, are you, are you pulling my leg? Oh, 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 that's my notification going off because my husband left out, my husband left out the garage and that was a notification. <laughs> Say, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Let me know somebody is in your driveway. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what? Shakira Sutton, I love your channel. Just want to pay it for. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to have a good time today. I'm on my way, says Latika. Latika, welcome in. Wendell, Wendell Johnson, welcome. Hello. Can this be made in a crock pot? Ah. Uh, I, I have to tell you, I have to tell you, I wouldn't put it in a crock pot. Guess why? Because we're going to be making a gravy. This isn't something that you just want to stew for hours. Do you see what I'm saying? The way we're going to make this beef is going to quickly become nice and soft and tender. The gravy takes three minutes to make. It'll thicken up in the pan in three minutes. Okay, so this recipe comes together quickly. It's not a recipe like a beef stew that you want to stew for hours in the crock pot, okay? Let's get to cooking, Gina. Okay, Donald. <laughs> hey there, Brother Christopher Williams, says Derek. Derek, how you doing today? I hope you're having a good day today. Glad to see ya. All right, the microphone is on. You're my go-to teacher from Arkansas. Well, welcome. What's your name? A. Powell, welcome in. Let's get this microphone on. Let's rock and roll. I'm gonna pull this down a little bit so I can see my shirt. I'm gonna try to put the microphone on this way and then see if you guys can hear me a little better. Because normally I put it inside my shirt and leave that part out. Let's try it a little different and see if y'all can hear me better when I leave the whole device out. And if you can, let me know. I'd love to know. Christopher, welcome, welcome. All right, let's get my apron on. Get your hands nice and clean. Go ahead and grab all your ingredients. Uh, before I put my apron on, I'll, I'll tell you what ingredients I'm using today. I'm going to be using beef. Now, in the, um, um, in the community section, I like to tell you all to get the beef stewed meat. It comes in cubes. But you don't have to. You can use a steak if you wanted to. Okay? Any kind of steak, you could use whatever type steak you have around your house, okay? But for this recipe, I like to use the beef stew meat because it it's always nice and tender. You're gonna need some rice, if you wanna serve it with rice. You're gonna need bell peppers, and what I like to do, I like to use um, different color bell peppers, red, green, yellow, orange, whatever color you want, or you could just do red and green. And we're gonna use onions, tomatoes is optional, uh, we're going to be using some cornstarch to thicken up our gravy, beef stock, beef broth, okay? Any kind of broth, really. If you have any kind of broth at your house, it'll work, okay? We're going to be using fish sauce is optional if you can find it, oyster sauce, soy sauce, and sugar. That's going to be our sauce. The spices we're using, garlic powder, salt and pepper, onion powder. That's it. Let's get the apron on, let's rock and roll. I'm going to Houston for my sister's birthday, eight days. I'm taking you, Gina, and your recipes. Okay, Gwen, well, thank you. Hey, take me along, that's right. T tell the whole world, tell the whole world. Purple love, welcome in. All right, let's get the apron on. I can't, I can't even see my stomach, yo. 
to put the apron on. them I will I will not make them what what I didn't get to see that message Sonia how you doing today Ron Wilson how are you Mildred how you doing today welcome 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 let's flip this camera over hello Jared Could you use turkey chop with this recipe? If you wanted to, sure you can. But we are making pepper steak. It's just an option to throw out there, okay? All right, you ready? I need my computer. Christy Fowler, welcome back. Could you use chicken livers? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I know he didn't say chicken livers. Thank you, Bridget. I hate, listen, 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 listen. Thank you. <laughs> but there are days that my stomach is swollen, but they told me once I figure out if I'm allergic to something, then that swelling in the top of my stomach will subside. So we'll just see. All right, I'm going to need my computer. We're going to wash our hands. You ready to get started. Let me get my beef out. Guess what? When he left out, he let a fly in. He let a fly. Dakota, you got to get this fly. Dakota, you got to get this fly, like right now. <laughs> Before I go nuts. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands. There's the fly swatter. You know where it's at. You might have to come back here. Look, there it is. Oh, y'all, it's a fly in here. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Your dad let the fly in through the garage. Let's put that light on. All right, I'm getting my hands nice and clean. Go ahead. You you got to get that fly. Uh uh. Turn the light on over there. Maybe it'll go over there. Oh, there it is. Oh, my Lord, y'all. I know he ain't about to catch that fly. We need to land. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'll close the trash can and maybe he'll stay away from there. I think I hit him. I don't know where he went, but I think I hit him. Oh, y'all. Okay, somewhere. it's okay. Hey, we're going to have a great fly. We're going to get that fly, though. This might, I hope this isn't a live where I'm cooking and I'm swatting the fly. <laughs> All right, make sure I'm in the camera. All right, my hands are impeccably clean. So now one of the first things that we need to do, I need my computer. One of the first things that we need to do is grab our meat. I'm going to rinse my meat off. I have just one pound of the stewed beef, okay? I'm gonna rinse it off just with cold water. I'm not using lemon or lime juice or anything like that. Just gonna rinse it off with some cold water and then we're gonna take a sharp knife and because the beef is in big cubes, what I wanna do is slice it down to slices or even smaller cubes, whatever you wanna do. Okay, but the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna do anything special, but just rinse it off with cold water, okay? So let's get that part done. Shakira Sutton, dang, you know when she built to throw a whole computer in that dish, it's gonna be good. <laughs> I tried to read the message, I think that's what she said. <laughs> Well, thank you. Lord, I got it bad. You said I'm looking around telling my daughter to get the fly. There isn't a fly in here at all. <laughs> I found it. He found it? Did you get it? it. Oh, praise. 
praise God. Yo, he got the fly. But you know what? Dakota's good. He's good for telling me he caught the fly and he really did. It's right there. Okay, okay. He said it's really there. So I'm going to trust him. I'm going to trust him on this one, y'all. All right, I'm just rinsing my meat off. <clears throat> so, Sonia, did, do you feel like you have a fly now? <laughs> did you think you see one? <laughs> that can happen. It can rub off on you to where you think you got a fly in your house now. <laughs> You're going to have to lift that trash can up for me. Okay, so here's my meat. Just rinsed it off. All right. I'm going to turn around and <clears throat> take these pieces. Now, if the camera can come in really close, because I'd like for you all to see what I'm going to do with these cube pieces of meat. Okay, so come on in real quick and let's, let me show them. So if you got a piece like this, and they're all different sizes, different shapes and sizes, this is what I like to do. Just like that. Nothing fancy, okay? But break it down. Just like so. That way you'll have like, kind of like beef strips, right? We're gonna do that with each piece. This is only a pound. You may find some pieces that's already broken down small enough that you don't even have to cut. Okay, see that there? Now every once in a while, I will chime in and I'll look at the messages, see how everybody's doing. I'll see if you've got a serious question. If you're cooking along with me, you got a serious question, put a stop sign in the, in the chat and I will know or somebody will scream at me until I answer your question, okay? If you happen to see some fat, discard of it if you want to. You can keep it if you like it. All right, so let's break the meat down in such a manner. I want to move some of my ingredients aside so I don't feel too crowded. I feel like everything's really close to me. There we go. Now I feel like I got some wiggle room and I can kind of move a little bit. I hope y'all are having a great day today. And if you're not, hopefully I can help you to have a great day. When we sit down and talk, we talk about everything under the sun. So listen, y'all, if you have a great topic that you would like to talk about, um, write it down so you remember when I come around to talk to you all and we can talk about it. That way we can keep great conversation going. One thing I love is great conversation. I live for a great topic, a great conversation, right? So if you think of something while we're cooking, write it down so you don't forget, okay? Okay, okay, Sonia says, put the stop sign. Okay, great. Let's see. I'm frozen. <clears throat> Gina, are you putting fresh garlic cloves? No, no garlic. <clears throat> but I do, let me tell you this, you can use garlic. Absolutely you can. I don't believe when I've made pepper steak, I've ever put fresh garlic in. But you can. You can and it will be delicious. Okay, so now I am using something called oyster sauce and fish sauce. And I know a lot of you right now, let's have a coffee, everyone. Oh, it's morning there, my goodness. Um, so uh, I know when I mention fish sauce, some people kind of quench, like, ooh, that sounds kind of disgusting. Uh, let, let's talk about it really quickly. Fish sauce is put in a lot of Asian recipes, Chinese food, when you go and pick it up for your, from your local um, Chinese restaurant, a lot of times it has this in it. This right here is umami. <laughs> umami means yes. Umami is delicious, right? Does it make anything taste like fish? I'm going to go ahead and answer that right now. Nope. And I can swear and promise you, it don't taste like fish. Okay? So just keep that in mind. If you ever hear me using um, the fish sauce, it has a great taste. 
It's used in Chinese foods, okay? Okay, oyster sauce and fish sauce, yes. Okay, so Christopher says, I believe that. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm not gonna steer anybody wrong, y'all. <clears throat> Thank you, Jessalyn. Thank you so much. <clears throat> but I do have to say this, excuse me. Uh, it took several years for me to be able to, <clears throat> let me cough real quick, hold on. <clears throat> and then I'll wash my hands. Let me wash my hands. It took me several years to be able to know how to talk in front of the camera or, or not so much how to talk. Because how I talk is how I talk, you know. Uh, but to get the confidence to do it, that's the scary part, right? What are they going to think about you? What are they going to say about you? You know, because before I got on camera, they talked about me like a dog, like a dirty dog. They did. But I just had to work up. Gina, can you please state what, you, what meat you're using? Yes, the meat that I'm using is uh, beef. Stew meat, S T E W meat, beef stew meat. It's in the ingredients in the description. Yeah, so I, I just had to work up the confidence to tell myself I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and I will do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And those people that try to bring me down, because there's going to be people that tries to bring you down, I uh, you just you know got to move on. You know, say the heck with them, <laughs> the heck with you, that's what you got to say. And then you move forward and you never look back, right? So, so once you build up that confidence, it, it, it's smooth selling from there. And as long as you got God on your side, listen, you can conquer anything. You hear me? Absolutely you can. Uh, this will make me know the strategy of cooking. Okay, well, that's great. Okay, so look what we got here. All our meat, nice and chopped. So now what I want to do, let me grab something. I'm going to show you all how I like to season the meat and marinate the meat where it's going to be nice and tender. We're going to do something called velveteen the meat, okay? We're going to put soy sauce, we're going to put sugar, and a tiny bit of cornstarch, okay? Soy sauce, a little bit of sugar, and a tiny bit of cornstarch, okay? So, let me wash my hands. Anytime you're touching raw meat, you always wash your hands so you don't transfer bacteria to the next thing that you're getting ready to touch. And the next thing that I'm getting ready to touch is my spices. Okay, Miss Gina, she wants to know if you're allergic to shellfish, can you still use oyster sauce? Um, let me look and see. <laughs> let me look and see. Let me wash my hands first. Great question. Great question. And, and definitely, that's definitely, let's just say I, I am unable to answer it. You definitely can look on Google. You Google it, okay? I don't want to give nobody the wrong information. Okay, let's see if I can read it. Okay, so it does have oyster, oyster water. Okay, so my answer would be no that you can't. But what I would definitely like for you to do, I'm saying no, in, you know, in, oh, I don't want anybody to get me wrong. I would say no that you can't, but if that's the situation and you can't use shellfish, you're just gonna use the soy sauce, okay? The cornstarch. You're also gonna be able to use the sugar 
and it'll be delicious as well. And I'll have you season yours with garlic and onion powder. Okay, so if you have a selfish allergy, um, you're just going to use soy sauce. Okay, and uh, make sure that you can have soy sauce, um, sugar, garlic and onion powder, and cornstarch. Okay, Worcestershire has, oh, Ron, I didn't know that. He says Worcestershire sauce has uh, anchovies. I think it's delicious. I would press my mother to cook like what you cook. Okay, okay, that's great. If there will be leftovers ever, when you need help eating the leftovers, let me know. Oh, I'll let you know. <laughs> Thank you, Derek. Derek says give a thumbs up. Thank you, I appreciate that. All right, so watch how much I decide to put of the cornstarch. The cornstarch, have you ever been, let me, let's talk about this real quick. Have you ever been to your local Chinese restaurant and you ever wonder like why is the meat like so tender I mean it's like tender velvety meat it's because they do a velveting technique okay and it consists of cornstarch okay we're gonna put some sugar on not a lot just a pinch just to make sure we're covering all the meat that's it okay and then we're gonna put some soy sauce on here, and we want for this to set for, hey, let's just say 10 minutes, okay? How much soy sauce? Come in and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you right now, okay? Just to wetten it up. And then we're gonna go in, I'm gonna take my bling off real quick, and I want you to mix in the sugar, the cornstarch, and the soy sauce. Great flavor right there. The soy sauce is going to bring you a salty flavor to the meat. The cornstarch is going to help to make it nice and tender. And the sugar is going to give it a great texture while it's cooking and make it a little, just a teeny bit sweet. Okay? So great. Let's set this for 10 minutes. Set it and forget it. Okay? <clears throat> so just set that aside. I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, everybody okay? Let's see. I'm going to take my meal now. Well, continue to watch. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> so I got some cornstarch everywhere. I just want to clean up my area. As you're cooking, anytime you're cooking, you clean up your area. It's really going to help you in the long run to be not stressed out. Cleaning up as you go, I can, uh, now I can hear. Oh, okay, did you have to turn your volume up? <clears throat> so now what we want to do, you wanna turn some water on and get started making up your rice, okay? So I got my water going, okay? Let's cut up some bell peppers, some onions, and if you want to use tomatoes in this recipe, you're also going to cut up tomatoes. But I do know that there's a lot of people that don't like tomatoes. And if you're that person, by all means, you don't have to use it. Okay, so please keep that in mind. Let's cut some bell peppers. And I have an interesting way that I'm going to be cutting them. Is everybody doing okay before we move on? Hello, Capricorn. Welcome in. Thank you for coming in. Okay, so Ron says, Christopher, I never knew till I married Kathy. Her mom always used Worcester sauce in the cooking. She hates fish. Oh, okay, you have to read the bottle. Ain't that something? It is very interesting, Christopher. Yes, it is, because I didn't know that, Ron. Okay, so watch how I'm going to cut my bell peppers for this here recipe. And listen, I just have to say this real quick. Um... If you turn around and you only want to use one type of bell pepper, you know, like maybe just green, absolutely that's fine. My purpose for using a different color is because I'm on camera and I want to make it fancy, right? I just have to be honest. I want it to look pretty. But if I'm just at home and I'm not on camera, I'm just using a green bell pepper. Okay, so I just want to throw that out there, okay? 
All right, so watch. I'm going to cut down on that bell pepper just like so. I'm going to keep moving it so I get all sides of the bell pepper. How easy, right? Easy peasy. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we want to chop it just like so. So now what we have, little tiny squares. That's how it would be at your local Chinese restaurant, the little squares. Okay, so we're going to do this with every bell pepper, trying our hardest to make it all the same size. But for some reason, if it's not the same size, don't freak out about it. I promise you it's okay. Okay, so is everybody doing okay? Dina, can you use grape tomatoes? Yes! It's actually a great idea to use um, grape or cherry tomatoes, the little ones. And what I would do, Derek, um, is you could actually put them in whole if you want to. Yeah, you can. Or you can just slice them in half and throw them in. Okay, I love a good cherry tomato. <clears throat> uh, can you use, okay, yep, I answered Derek. Peppers and onions, OMG, yes, says Christy Fowler. Christy, how are you today? Okay, so let's cut the peppers. Once again, same thing, same technique. All right? <clears throat> and like I said, I just want to reiterate that again. You don't have to use all the different fancy colors. It's just to make it pretty on TV, just because I'm on TV. Like I said, I'll just say it again. If I was just cooking this uh, just for my family and not on TV, I'd just be using a green bell pepper, trust me. Okay? I, you know, because when you're on camera, you got to do what you can to make things real pretty, right? Especially for that picture that you put out there to the world, right? Okay? So there we go. We got peppers. And you use as much or as least peppers as you would like to use. You don't have to use a whole bunch. Okay, hold on, y'all. I'm gonna put these bell peppers in a little freezer bag, and tomorrow maybe I'll make an omelet or some fried potatoes or something like that. Hunter said, are you making the vegetables with the beef at the same time? Am I making the vegetables and the beef at the same time? It'll actually be different times. And that's actually a great question. So, um, well, first thing we're going to do is get our meat going. And then at some point, we're going to take the meat out the pan, and then we're going to cook our veggies. And then we're going to make our gravy, and everything comes back together in that one pan. But you'll see. I promise you it's going to be easy. If anybody has a... A question while you're cooking, put that stop sign up. Uh, yeah, the pepper does, Miss B. It always gives great flavor. How's your weather, Miss Gina? Um, the weather, I'd like to say it was maybe like 82 today. I I'm guessing. It was nice in the backyard. And right now, if I'm looking out the dining room window, it's cloudy. It looks like it might get cold really quickly. So it was nice. When we went out this morning to have coffee, okay, somebody got a question? Gina, you talk beautifully and professionally. I love it. And you are very clear in explaining yourself. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> the weather, let me get back to that and then I'll, I'll respond to what you're saying. Um, the weather right now looks like it just may rain tonight. But when I woke up this morning, it was nice enough that we could go outside in our pajamas without a jacket and drink coffee and really enjoy the sun. So that's what it was like this morning. So now, um, when you talk about the way that I speak, um, my dad, I, I, this is what I feel like because I... I a lot of people will tell me, gee, you, you talk valley, you know? And, and um, when I grew up, I had to hear that a lot. Gina, you talk valley. But I accept the way that I talk and I appreciate the way that I talk. So my dad, he, uh, when my dad raised us, he raised us to walk like, you, you know, you, you gonna do the right thing. You ain't gonna be out here acting a total fool, talking crazy and walking crazy with your pants hanging down to your knees. 
You know, he, he, he raised us to speak in such a way. You know, and I'm pretty sure that's where that came from. Uh, that's just how I speak. I, my sister, I feel like my sister speaks the same way. And my brothers. And so uh, when, when people used to tell me when I was younger, when people used to say, you talk badly, I would say, I talk proper. <laughs> right? I would correct them and say that. <laughs> I talk proper is what it is. It's not valid. <laughs> but I also was born and raised in Columbus, Ohio. So I'm not from, you know, uh, where I would have a deep accent, you know. That sounds good. <laughs> it's burning up. What's burning up your food? Okay, hey y'all, is my Holy King in here? Where's my Holy King? <laughs> oh, it's, it's that hot? Okay, you said I, I'm from Jersey and people tell me I talk proper. I still to this day don't know what that means. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I, I know what they mean when they say that. I know. <laughs> Not yet, Gina says Sue. Oh, he's not in here. Okay, so I happen to love a good tomato and gravy. So I'm going to put some tomatoes in my um, pepper steak. And I just like to quarter it in such a manner, okay? If you're that person, there's a lot of people that don't like cooked tomatoes or they don't want tomatoes in the recipe. You don't have to use it, okay? Now, the tomatoes will not be cooked in with the peppers and onions. This tomato goes in at a last afterthought, as an afterthought. Like when we're getting ready to turn the dish off, that's when you put the tomatoes in because you don't want to cook tomatoes until they turn to mush. You just really have to heat them up. And the heat from the sauce will heat up the tomatoes, okay? So, but if you don't want to use the tomatoes, yours will be just as delicious without the tomatoes, okay? And I can promise you that, all right? So now that I have that done, did y'all know that a tomato is a fruit and not a vegetable? Absolutely. Who's saying that? Oh, that's Terrell Unknown. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Gina, the weather, I, I know. I don't know what the heck's going on with the weather. Like I said, it looks like it's cloudy. I don't know if it's going to rain. It told us, it told us that it was going to rain yesterday, and it didn't rain. Oh, you made your pepper steak yesterday? You need not to get offended, but it's what it is, their opinion. Yeah, it's their opinion. Uh, you know, as I grew older, um... I understand, you, you, you know, why I talk like I talk. And it doesn't, it, it, it offends me when some people say it, you know. But, yeah, that, that's, that's a subject for another day. All right, here's what we're going to do. Take a look in my pan. I want to show you all that I got a teeny tiny bit of oil. Just enough oil to coat the bottom of the pan, Okay. That's all it is. It's not a whole lot. We're not trying to deep fry this beef. We do want to get our pan nice and hot. So at this time, go ahead and turn your pan up to a medium high heat or medium heat if you are in fear of burning your meat. You turn on medium or medium high. We're going to put this meat in. And when you get your meat into the pan, make sure that it's not piled on top of each other. If your pan isn't big enough, your meat will steam versus getting a nice char onto it, okay? So we want the meat to cook separately versus setting on top of each other. So even if you have to go in and take one piece and put it in the pan next to each other, that's fine. Just don't have it on top of each other, okay? Oh, the poor air quality, my goodness. 
Sometimes people say I sound like I'm from New Orleans. Oh, is that right? Okay, so I'm going to wait. Make sure your pan's nice and hot. So it's going to take my pan probably a good two minutes to get hot. Once we get the meat into the pan, I want you all to grab a bowl or a measuring cup. And I want to uh, show you how to make the sauce. We're going to mix up the sauce right in here. Okay, and then once everything's done, we're going to pour the sauce in there and voila. It's going to thicken up right before your own eyes. And your food will be done. So I'm going to walk over here while my pan's heating up. And what I want to do is I want to turn my rice on. Hello, Nancy. I have a very southern country accent, and people assume I'm not. Oh, my goodness, Miss Karen. <laughs> Ron said, we're still 100 behind. Give a thumbs up, y'all. Canada wildfires. New York looks like a horror movie. Is that right? With the orange smoke for weeks. Oh, my goodness. Karen, some people... I know, Sonia, absolutely. I agree with you, Sonia. I'm so late, I'm missing everything. Welcome, Andrew. You're not late. You're not late. If you ain't cooking with us, you're never too late. Don't worry about it. All right, so now my pan is getting nice and hot. Let's go ahead and put our meat into our pan, okay? You just throw it all in right there. And once it gets in the pan, you separate it so that it's not on top of each other, okay? This recipe, you're going to see how quickly this recipe comes together so quickly. All right, so you can see me separating the meat pieces. And I might, we'll see, all depend on how I'm feeling. I might turn around and take this pan and put it behind me on that burner behind me because the burner is bigger than this one here. This burner is teeny tiny. Um, I'm probably old enough to be your grandmother. Shakira Sutton, and I've heard the same thing. Many actors and reporters wouldn't have their jobs. Oh, I see, I didn't get to read your message. I, I was reading it, but it went up too fast. <laughs> I wish we could have a cool breeze every now and then. The heat is terrible, says Denise. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Derek says it's been real smoky and hazy here too in Illinois. Hello, Drew. Okay, so Angela says, I need to try Gina's stuffed bell peppers. I tell you what, you would really enjoy it. Try the recipe where I use the rice aroni. The rice aroni mixed with the meat, and then you uh, fill the peppers up. It's delicious. It's easy, quick, and simple. Absolutely. So now that we have the meat in, I have decided that I want to... I do want to cook this meat over this way. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get started making up our sauce. I'm going to look and read some messages. And if you all are ready for me to show you how to put this delicious, easy peasy sauce together, say we're ready and I'll get started showing you. Turn, I need a thing. Gina, I made stuffed bell peppers last night. Turned out so good and well learned from the best, Gina. Okay, Derek, that's great. Derek, I love it. I love it, yes. Tell the people in the background, Derek, it's great. It makes me so happy when you all try my recipes and you love it, you know? I love to hear when you try something and you enjoy it. Hi, Mimsy. How are you? Hi, Gina. It's Gail from Chicago making pepper steak. Cool. Yes. Welcome in, Gail. I can't. Oh, my goodness, Drew. I know you are. I know you're lying. I know you're lying, Drew. Okay, so I'm just shaking. I'm shaking my pan a little bit. I have the pan up on medium high. I will come back in and show you all how everything's doing here in a few minutes. 
You don't want to have your meat turned down too low because it'll sting. You don't want to have it yanked up on high because it'll burn. So between medium high and medium, you're going to get that char that we're looking for, okay? I made stuffed bell peppers last week, and the only emojis I can come up with is... <laughs> okay, okay. some pink pieces of meat it's gonna be okay and just trust me when I tell you that it will be okay because the meat will eventually get put back into the dish and it will continue to cook but what we want to do we're basically putting a um, sear onto the meat and then as we get a sear on we'll take the meat out of the pan but it'll get reiterated back into the dish Okay, make sure your rice is cooking up. Gorgeous. We'll get back to that sauce here in just a few minutes, okay? All right, let me look at everybody, see how everybody's doing. All right, let me look in the chat. Sorry to hear that, Drew. Uh, <laughs> Shakira. I'm, what's the matter with Drew? I hope he's okay. What kind of meat was used, says Gwen? Yes, two cups of broth. Thank you, Sonia. I used um, beef stew meat, S-T-E-W meat. Okay, we got two cups of broth. We are going, let me get the measuring cup so you know how much to use.
they said, can it be cooked medium rare? Huh? I, I, I didn't hear you. They said, do you have to fully cook it because you're about to use the gravy? You, you don't have to fully cook it because the meat will go back into the pan and it will continue to cook a little later, okay? So don't worry if your meat is pink. When I take it out, you take yours out, okay? Because what we're trying to do is not overcook it right now, but when it goes back into that gravy, it will continue to cook until it's fully cooked, I promise you, okay? So now, we're going to measure out one fourth of a cup of our soy sauce, okay? So one fourth of a cup of soy sauce goes in with two cups of beef broth or any kind of broth that you have. There's my one fourth of a cup of soy sauce. Easy peasy, right? One fourth of a cup of soy sauce. We're gonna add one fourth of a cup of oyster sauce. If you cannot use it, if you have a shellfish allergy, don't use the oyster sauce, okay? Or the fish sauce if you have a seafood allergy. You enjoy the brewed soy sauce? Oh my goodness, that sounds great. Okay, so keep in mind that this can be a little stubborn. It's really nice and thick. Okay, we need one fourth of a cup and you may have to tap it a little bit to get it out of the jar. I'm gonna use this here. Let's see, let me grab some. If I can get something to fit down in there. Okay, there we go. I'm using a butter knife to get it out because it comes out slow and thick. Uh-oh, we're making a mess, but I tell you what, we can always clean it up when we're done, okay? There we go. One fourth of a cup of oyster sauce. I'm going to put it in there so I can get all that lovely goodness out. So we've used one fourth of a cup of soy sauce one fourth of a cup oyster sauce. And then with our fish sauce, we just use just a couple of drops. Okay, not a whole lot, just a couple of drops. Now go ahead and turn your meat off. Turn your meat off. All right, I'm gonna clean my mess up and then we're gonna continue with what we're doing. But right now I want you to turn your meat off, okay? I don't want nobody to burn up their meat or overcook it right now. So what I'm gonna do, I turn my meat off, I'm gonna take it out of the pan, and I'm gonna put it onto a platter. And then I'm gonna bring my meat over so you can see it, okay? My rice is just about done. I'm gonna show you all my beef, come on in. <laughs> Ooh, wee, Gina, look at that beef. Where's the beef? It's right there. Where is the beef? That's where it's at. That's where it's been all along, right here on this counter. Look at that. Gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to set that aside. Okay, let me see what sign. I think it's Sonia. Let's see, somebody. I may have missed it. Oh, okay, Sonia is saying the uh, measurements of the ingredients. So now, you're going to put fish sauce in. Now, my fish sauce needs to be open, so I'm gonna take my time to get it open. You only put just a couple of a dashes in, okay? How many? Well, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you in 1.2 seconds. And then we're gonna put sugar in. Sugar helps to balance out. You, you want it to have a little sweetness to the sauce. You do. Now, for those of you that like to use a Splenda, absolutely you can. Okay, it's not going to harm, it's not going to mess up anything. Okay? It can be, Angela, we can talk about cars. I don't know much about cars, but the cars that we have. <laughs> but whatever you guys want to talk about, absolutely we can. We're going to have a good time. Okay, so come on in, camera, really closely so that people can see. We're going to do one dash, two dash, three, 
four, and five. Okay? That's all you need. That's all you need. But now, we do have garlic. Get you some in there. Onion. And black pepper. Just put you some in like you're seasoning something up, okay? It's not a certain amount. Okay? And then we're going to use two tablespoons of sugar, okay? Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons? Absolutely. That's what I need you to put in. There's one. And there's two. I want you to think about how salty the soy sauce is. So the saltiness from the soy sauce will balance out that sweetness, like I promise you. We're not making a sweet sauce here. All of that saltiness of the soy sauce and the beef broth, it's balanced out when you put that sugar in. Just trust me on this, okay? You got me? Let's stir it up, just like so. And then, uh, you see how mine's just almost overflowing. I'm going to tell you all, make sure you get, look at the bottom. We want to really get all of that mixed in, okay? Oh, yeah. I need to take my rice out. And then we're going to get our vegetables to cooking. Okay? Is everybody doing okay? Okay. Gina, are you a mechanic? No, <laughs> I don't know nothing about any cars, Drew. Heck no. All I know, I, I don't, I don't know much about cars at all. <laughs> okay, I'm checking on my rice. I want to drain my rice because it's done. The type of rice that I use is the boil in a bag rice. So I'm just draining it, and then I'm going to open the bags up and put my rice into my pan. So I can do that right here. Open up my bags of rice, they're perfectly cooked. Okay? I'm not gonna put butter on them because it doesn't need it. When you have a gravy, you really don't need butter on your rice, right? Perfect, my rice is done, the beef is done. Okay, I want to clean this counter off or, or this, I want to clean this off real quick. Hold on, y'all. Welcome in if you're just now coming in. If you happen to look up and you notice that you did not give a thumbs up, make sure you give a thumbs up. Absolutely. Okay, we're on the roll. We're doing good. Okay, so now what we can do. Did we put our sugar in? We put our two tablespoons of sugar in. Let's set our sauce aside. We're going to bring our pan back into the equation with all of these lovely bits. Even though it has those bits in it, it's okay. Here's what I want you to do. Go ahead, put the bell peppers and onions right into the pan, and we're going to saute them up. We're not going to saute these peppers and onions until they lose its vibrant color. And we don't want to saute them until they turn to mush either. Right? So you'll know. How will I know, Gina? Well, the onions will begin to get translucent, which is clear in color. And you're gonna say, oh yeah, right? And you'll see that the peppers have begun to get a little bit softer. You want them to have a little crunch, but you want them just to be a little bit soft, but not too crunchy, right? So I'm gonna turn the burner on. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of oil in the pan because right now I don't have any oil in that pan. Even though I have all the good lovely bits in there, we're gonna need about maybe a tablespoon and a half of oil, okay? That's it, just to cook up the veggies, all right? So let me see how everybody's doing 
If you have a serious question and you're cooking with me today, um, go ahead and ask your question and I'm here to answer. Just imagine if Gina could fix cars. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Sue. <laughs> uh oh, Drew Paul said, Derek, you got jokey jokies today. <laughs> OMG, Mildred is picking up all of her Flintstone car to go see Gina. <laughs> you love pepper steak. Your name is Ra. Ra Ra 65. Welcome in. You love some pepper steak, says Dolores. Dolores, how are you? Okay, so listen. Let's talk about the things that we've done so far. And the things that we've done is we've cut our bell peppers and onions. The bell peppers and onions should be sauteing up on a medium-high heat with a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan. We've already cooked our meat. The meat is ready to, it, to go back into the pan, but not right now. We've got to cook the veggies, okay? If you're using tomatoes, the tomatoes will go in at the last minute. You should have rice this done and your beautiful sauce that is right smack dab here. Okay, so that's where we're at. How's everybody doing this cooking with me? To the person that wanted to know to put the peppers right now. To the person who wanted to know when to put the peppers right now. Okay, thank you. What did you say? John said if you put a lid on the pan, would the vegetables cook faster? Okay, if you put, that's a great question, John. If you put a lid on the peppers, your peppers will get soggy because you will create steam in the pan. But it's okay, John. It's a great question. You'll create steam in the pan, and your veggies will get cooked really quickly. But on the same hand, I can say that they'll be kind of soggy uh, because you're going to create steam in the pan. Right, so hopefully that makes sense to you. Hold on, you guys, I'm coming. Is the air on low? Mm -hmm. Make sure, because I'm burning up. I, I saw like it. It's, it's hot in here. It is hot in here, y'all. I feel like I got a fur coat on right now. All right, bell peppers. I can hear them sizzling, and we can smell them. They smell good. And I tell you what, y'all, I can't resist. I can't resist. I got, to, I got to taste one of these pieces of beef, and I'm going to taste it right now. It's 50 degrees in here. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm tasting a piece, y'all. Does somebody want to taste a piece of this beef? Come on in so they can see it. Good. Oh my goodness. Mm. Here, you want a piece? It's so soft. It's so supple. Mm. There's so much flavor because we marinated it using the soy sauce, the sugar, and the cornstarch. I promise you. You're going to love this beef. It does. Maybe that's what happens to me, Miss Karen, because every time I get in this kitchen, I start sweating. And I always like to say, every time Gina gets in this kitchen, it gets hot back here. <laughs> but it, it is. It's the heat, whether you're using the oven or this cooktop right here, it lets off a lot of heat. And then also all of these lights that I have. I have industrial lights on me right now. And they let off a whole lot of heat. Right, so I have extra heat in this kitchen that y'all couldn't even imagine right now. <laughs> Raymond says, hi Raymond. Raymond says, I tear them bell peppers up. Come on in so the people can see. Come on in. He said, I tear them bell peppers up. Looky, looky, looky. I love bell peppers and onion sauteed especially when you put them on top of a sausage 
a bratwurst, Italian sausage, or something like that. Delicious. And you got to saute them like this, you know. Okay, so that they, what's your name? Hopkins says, I'm three years in. Welcome. Thank you for coming in and joining. Gina, is your roof? <laughs> it's hot in there. It is, Mildred. Mildred, how you doing? You know how to tease us, Gina, with that good cooking. Hey, I'm not trying to tease y'all, but I do like to tease a little bit. Just, just, just to make you um, want to cook the recipe. I just want to make you cook the recipe and try it. That's all. <laughs> okay, so uh, Miss, Mr. Wilson said, that's too in my kitchen. He said, I get hot too because I don't have enough ventilation. I got the ventilation on, right? But like I said, with these industrial lights shining on me, listen here. It's like a different type heat that it, it ain't funny. It's like I'm in a sauna back here. <laughs> but it gives great light to the picture, you know? It feels like 105 degrees where you live. You ordered out today. T. Smith, welcome in. Please, I hope you can stay nice and cool. I hope you, everybody that's in all of this heat in this crazy weather, I hope you all can stay safe. I really do. So now, my peppers and onions are almost about five minutes away from being cooked to perfection. Like I said, I, I, I want for these peppers and onions not to be cooked to mush. When you cook them to mush, they lose the color. When you cook them to mush, that's not the texture I'm looking for. Because when we go out to our Chinese restaurant, they got a little bite to them, right? They're never mushy. So that's what I'm looking for. And the onions, they're just now beginning to get Flaring color. Let me show you all this one. Can the com camera come in on that one? Can y'all see how clear that's beginning to get? Let's see. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, you bet I am. So here in about three to five minutes, we'll be adding in our meat back into the pan with the veggies. <coughs> Hold on, y'all. Now I'm going to wash my hands. Um, we'll be putting the meat back in the pan with the veggies. And then we're going to put our sauce in. And then I'm going to show you all how to make a cornstarch slurry to thicken everything up. Now, I normally would go ahead and put my cornstarch into here. But guess what? <clears throat> this is filled to the brim. And I ain't got no room to put cornstarch in it. If I put cornstarch in it, it'll just topple over. So now, I do want to tell you how much cornstarch I'm going to use. I'm going to be using two tablespoons. <clears throat> two tablespoons of cornstarch. And I, it's just a house tablespoon. You can use a measuring spoon if you like. Two tablespoons of cornstarch um, into here if you have room in your bowl to mix it in. But since I don't have room to mix it in, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a cornstarch slurry in a bowl. Okay? And then we'll pour it in. So, uh, let's see. If I can reach this. We're getting ready to put the meat in with the veggies, okay? Everybody that's cooking with me, are you doing okay? Thanks, so. sir. Is pepper steak meant to be hot? Is it meant to be spicy? It's not. But you can spice it up if you want. If you want to put some red pepper flakes in, absolutely you can. Maybe some jalapeno. But it would not be traditional to make it hot. But if you want to, you can. You know, that's the fun about when you're cooking at home. You can make it how you like Okay, so let's measure out our two tablespoons of cornstarch. You can do it like I'm doing, but if you have room in your broth there, you can put this in with your broth. Okay, there's one tablespoon. All right, there's two tablespoons. Let's just say 
you're the person that you turn around and you use the two tablespoons like Gina said, but yours for some reason didn't thicken up. You wait a few minutes to see if it thickened up, but then if it didn't, you may add just another half a tablespoon of cornstarch and eventually it will thicken up, okay? I, I promise you. Now, you can use water, you can use broth, whatever you want to use to, to thin this out. So since I have some broth left, I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in there. Look how much I poured in. Not a whole heck of a lot, okay? So now let's thin out the cornstarch. You're gonna to have to really scrape it, just like so, and we'll pour this in last. Okay, this is our thickener. This is called a cornstarch slurry. It thickens up, it thickens up any type of sauce, okay? Okay, so Shakira said, I don't love a thick sauce. I can't eat a watery sauce. Yes, so you're gonna see the consistency. And if at any time you're not happy with the consistency, you'll use a little bit more cornstarch. So look at the peppers now. And also now we're gonna put our meat back in. Can y'all see that? Okay. Get the meat back in just like so. Now everything comes together very quickly. Okay. Do this, do that. How gorgeous, like we could eat that just like that, right? You bet we could. Now, if you wanna use, if you ever wanna use, like uh, there are some people that don't eat rice and maybe they like to replace it with quinoa or brown rice, absolutely you can, okay? Do what you like, okay? So come on in and look, I, I want them to see, I want them to see down in this pan what's happened. Gorgeous. Okay, we're going in with our sauce. Let's get it poured in, y'all. And then you go in and stir the sugar, the spices, all that lovely goodness. Get it nice and stirred. We don't want nothing left in that container there, okay? Or your bowl. See, I see there's some sugar left in there. I just want to give it a nice swirl around. There we go. We got it all out. Okay, turn your heat up. Did I get anything on my shirt? I felt, I felt the splash. Okay. <laughs> Derek, oh my goodness, I'm drooling. <laughs> you should be, Derek. You should be, because it is drool worthy. <laughs> That's kind of weird. <laughs> Some fresh mushrooms, maybe. Mary Jane, absolutely. I love that. So here's what you need to do. We need to bring our broth up to a slight boil. Once the broth is heated through, when you put your cornstarch slurry in, whatever sauce you have should be nice and heated. And then within the next five to six minutes, this cornstarch slurry will thicken up your sauce and we have delicious pepper steak to young stuff. How about it? Looks so pretty, Tina. Thank you, Brenda. Brenda, welcome in. <laughs> my word, sheer excellence. Renee, thank you, my goodness. Thank you, thank you. So now, if you look at it, you'll see how thin it is. But like I said, let's let this broth get nice and warm through. After it warms through, we're going to turn around Put that cornstarch right in. Okay, so Sod says, I can't wear it until so Gina wear her bandana again. What? What do you say? I got a hat on today, though. Does it have to be a bandana? I, I, like, I like my bandanas. I like my bandanas. Now, now let me just tell y'all this, just, just to tell you all. Did anybody get ready to toss up your socks, says Mildred? <laughs> Thank you. Sesame seeds? Sure. Do I have some in there or did you throw them away when you cleaned the cabinets out? You threw them away? I have some? Okay. Sesame seeds, if we have some, they would be gorgeous, right? All right, I got some. I got some. Okay. Um, what was I getting ready to say? Oh, here's what I was 
what's going to say? Just saying, I like the bandana look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what I was saying, when y'all see me wearing a hat, if you see me wearing a scarf or a bandana, it's because that day I couldn't do anything with my hair. It's because that day I couldn't do anything with my hair. Sometimes I'll put a hat on to match the shirt, but most of the time when I have a hat, a bandana, or a scarf on, it's because my hair wouldn't, it just wouldn't do right. <laughs> I want some and it looks so good. So now I'm seeing a boil. I'm seeing a boil, a boil, you're gonna see little bubbles. As soon as you see those first couple bubbles, the little bubble bubbles, let's go ahead and put our cornstarch slurry. But you must stir it, stir it up vigorously, making sure you don't have leftover cornstarch in the bottom. Now the color will change, it'll lighten up a little bit. See how I'm doing this? I'm rinsing my bowl out. I wanna make sure I have all that slurry, okay? Let's go ahead and stir it and see if it thickens up. If it does, it does. But if it doesn't, then we're gonna use a little bit more cornstarch. Go ahead, turn your heat up, and let's see if it thickens. How exciting, how exciting. In about five minutes, you can taste this and say how you like it, absolutely. I wouldn't taste it while you have the fresh cornstarch in there because it'll taste like flour, <laughs> right? It'll taste like cornstarch. So we'll give it a few minutes. And like I said, by all means, if it doesn't thicken up, use a little bit more cornstarch. Keep, always keep it near you, all right? And this goes in as an afterthought, or tomatoes. All right, we got the rice done. This recipe, I told y'all, it comes together so quick and simple. <laughs> I just showed y'all a great recipe. I wonder if a blue blackish look I wonder if a blue back, backlash look, backslash maybe in Gina's kitchen? Are you seeing a backslash? Okay. Oh, it's thickening up. But is it thickening up enough? That's really the question. Well, we'll just have to see. We'll give it about three more minutes. If it doesn't thicken up to our liking or your liking, you're going to use some more cornstarch, okay? But guess what I want to do? I got to taste it. I gotta taste it. So if you want to taste your broth right now, go ahead and taste it. I, I'm gonna give the people in the background this cook. It's not cooking with me. A taste first. <laughs> yum yum yum. I'm going in. I want to taste this sauce so bad. Ooh, I want to. Yum. I'm not even kidding. Mmm. <laughs> hey, it's good. I'm telling you, it's good. <laughs> Gina Young, aka Gangsta, Bo Gangsta Boogie Gina. <laughs> Y'all so funny. Y'all are so funny. It looks so delicious, Ruthie. Thank you, Ruthie, and welcome in. <laughs> Latrice, yay girl. Okay, so now, let's seriously come in on a serious note and look and say, is it thick enough to your liking? Can you see, I'm gonna push the steam away. Can you see how that gravy is just coating the meat and coating those vegetables? That's what we're looking for. But I do feel like, I wanna think of mine just a little tiny bit more. Gina, a little bit more, just a little bit more. Well, how much you want to use, Gina? I'm going to use a half a, I'm going to use a teaspoon. I'm going to use a teaspoon only. Not even a tablespoon, okay? But you would never take cornstarch and put it into heat. You take it, you put it into something cold, and then you mix it into heat, okay? So that's a great lesson there. I love, when I'm on here, y'all, I love teaching you all in detail. When I teach in detail, I feel like I've done my job. I don't wanna just come on here and just throw things into a pan and say, and this is how you do it. I want to really show you 
why you would want to do something, why you wouldn't want to do something. I really want to teach the world why things are done in the kitchen. And I love, when I went to culinary arts school in high school, um, I went half the day, only had two subjects in high school. And then the rest of my day, I went to culinary arts school. But um, they, the two teachers, culinary arts school, they taught us in detail so people could understand. And I don't know about you all, but that's what I need when I'm trying to learn something. I don't care if they try to teach me how to make a batch of cookies. Teach me in detail so I can understand and know why I would want to do something, you know? So you can see I just put in that teaspoon, and guess what? We have gravy. <laughs> Ooh, we got gravy, Gina. Come on, Gina. Come on in. Look how quick it happens. It happens so quickly. Oh, you're going to be excited. Grandmom's excited. Uncle Bobo's excited. Oh, hey, look at that. Uncle Ron is excited. I'm putting tomatoes just because I love it. Okay, so let me do this. I got, now, now I got to tease y'all a little bit. Come on in. You can turn the burner down to low at this point. Look at that. Can somebody see? Can somebody, anybody see how thick, thick, gorgeous, and tasty? That's for me. Thick, gorgeous, and tasty? <laughs> oh, hey, that sounds good for any recipe. It does. <laughs> All right. You don't have to use tomatoes if you don't like them. I always like to say that because a lot of people don't like a cooked tomato. All right, so come in one more time, and our meal is basically done. All we're doing right now is we're just heating up our tomatoes. Look at that. Sonia, look at that. Mildred, Ron, Derek, Raymond, look at this, Drew. Look at it, Valencia. Oh, absolutely. I know some names. Eula, look at this. <laughs> Fudge, look at this. We are on a roll. So now, while our tomato uh, warms up, the recipe is done. And if you cook with me today and you understood everything I did and you had a great time, uh, let me know in the comment section how your recipe is turning out. Have you tasted the sauce? Does it taste good? Tell me something. Tell me something so I know. Okay, let me see what's happened. I would put that on noodles or rice. Oh, absolutely. So I said, we looking, Gina. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay. I love tomatoes, but never had it in my pepper steak. But I would try it, only fresh tomatoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mildred, sounds good, says Christy. Okay, what does Mildred say? Because Sonia is cracking up. Gina, you be getting down in that kitchen. I ain't lying. Hey, well, thank you. I'm trying, y'all. And listen, it's for you all. It's for you all, I promise. This is for you all. Anytime I get in this kitchen, it's for you all. This gift was meant for me to share my gift with the world that God has given me, and I'm going to share it. Any recipe that I have, I'm going to share it with you all. So now, for the people in the background, come on in so the people can see one more time. I'm going to be fanning. Can you use pork? Natasha, sure. Natasha, what a great question. But it wouldn't be called pepper steak, okay? <laughs> Did you show them very well? Um, you can use pork, but what you're gonna do, you've gotta cook that pork fully done. And for the people that was worried about the beef not being fully cooked when we took it out the pan, no worries, guess what? Because right now, it's simmering in that broth. It's getting fully cooked. It's getting nice and tender. We're going to cook this baby for maybe a good, uh, let's just say, 10 minutes. Dinner is served. How about we say a nice prayer right now, and when we eat, I'm coming around here. We're going to chit-chat it up, write down some great conversations of things we could talk about. We're going to have a fun time tonight, okay? So what am I going to plate 
pessoa. expensive kind um, you can get stainless steel and or you can get like something that has um, the um, non stick to it and um, you're, you're gonna be okay get a small one for scrambled eggs get a medium-sized one maybe one like this where you can make a stew or some type of stir-fry or something and you're good because you can use this pan right here for uh, like a steak fried potatoes, whatever. <laughs> Tomatoes on your sandwich hamburger. Oh my goodness, that sounds good. Gina, can I use pork stewed beef? Can I use pork stewed meat instead of beef? Yes, yes you can. Yes you can. Natasha, you have a question? Yes, yes, yes. You can use pork stewed meat if you want to. Make sure you cook it fully. And don't call it pepper steak. <laughs> don't call it pepper steak. Tea bell is affordable. And yeah, and they have sets, and that's what Sonia will tell you. Uh, that's what I use. I use the tea bell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you said that's a big yes. Okay, y'all, so my dish right here is done and I couldn't be more happy. Let's go ahead and say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I want to thank you right now for this fellowship. This fellowship that we do three times a week, uh, it helps me and I feel like it helps others. And I want to thank you, Lord, that I'm able to do this. Thank you for the gift that you have given me to share with this world. And I tell you what, Lord, I'm going to keep on sharing it. Thank you, Father, for your mercy, your love time, and your understanding. Please bless over all of us in Jesus Christ's name. Let no weapons formed against us prosper in the name of Jesus. We bind the devil and all his evil friends away from us in Jesus Christ's name. Let that devil know he stands no chance. Devil, you have no authority in Jesus Christ's name. Heavenly Father, you hold the hearts of all kings and authorities over our life. You hold your heart in your hand and you turn it like a water course. Blessed be the name of the good Lord Jesus. Please forgive us for our sins in the name of Jesus. Come into our hearts who make you our Lord and Savior. Heavenly Father, when we sin, just let us be able to recognize when we sin so that we can hopefully fix it, move on, and try to do better the next time. Lord, I love you, I believe in you, and I have faith in you. And everything that I do in my life will always be with you right on my side. I know I can and I will do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Thank you for this meal today and the roof over our head. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Thank you all for saying amen. Come on in and take a look. We're getting ready to get down, down to the dirty, down, down. <laughs> down, down, boogie down. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We are. We are. All right. So here's how I like to serve it. Let me just show you how I like to serve it. My rice is still nice and hot. So I have this platter here. I'm going to put half the rice. So, so we have three in our household. And I like to put it on this nice platter. You can use um, uh, like a big plate if you want. Or even a cookie sheet. A cookie sheet will hold this. Okay, so watch this. I'm going to put the rice on one half. Excuse me, just like so. And we're going to take our beautiful, I need a bigger spoon. <clears throat> like that. This is how I serve it. My family and friends can just come and dig right from here and make their plate. And then I like to leave some sauce in the pan. And if anyone wants extra sauce, they can come right into this pan and grab some extra sauce. I know there's so many of you that like extra gravy, extra sauce. That's what you're going to be able to do with this here recipe. Look in the pan. You're going to see how much sauce is available to you. You see that? Mmm. Y'all. I'm excited, and you should be too. Oh, my, my. <laughs> Me, oh, my. Ooh. Okay, we're getting there, y'all. We are getting there. Bon appetit. <laughs> bon appetit is right. So now, I don't remember who it was. Was it Drew? Was it Saj? Was it Raymond? One of the three requested sesame seeds. I don't remember who it was. Was it one of you all? <laughs> who was it? But it's a great idea, a great addition, especially if you're making Asian. Come on and look at it now. Look how pretty. It's not really for a taste, although sesame seeds will give a great taste to anything. It gives like a nutty flavor. But um, more than anything, it's for garnish. I'm going to put some parsley flakes onto my rice just to make everything nice and pretty. And dinner is served. Let me ask you all a question. G. Hughes, welcome in. When you cut, it wasn't you, Saj. <laughs> okay. Somebody said it. I thought somebody said sesame seeds. Um, when you coming over? When's everybody come? Come on over. Dinner served. Dinner is served. Ain't nobody here. Come on, y'all. Come on over to Gina's. Get in. Get Mildred's going to pick you up. Mildred's picking a ton of you up to come over and eat with me. Look at this. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. Thank you for the hearts going up. Thank you so much. I appreciate the hearts going up. It does something that lets YouTube know that you're enjoying the chat. So thank you for all of those hearts going up. I love it. Oh, you, okay, Sonia, yes. Okay, so Sonia makes a great point. She said, Gina, I want more meat, less veggies. Yes, you can. So, now think about me. I used one pound of meat, okay? So when you make yours, Sonia, get two pounds of meat. Two pounds of beef stew meat, and then you slice it, you're going to have a ton of meat. Let's make up a plate. You all are going to get that first bite. Write down conversations you want to talk about. We can chit-chat for the rest of the night. Let's have a good, clean, fun time here at the Yellow House. Let's have pepper steak. You all are going to get my first bite before I even take a bite, if I'm strong enough to do that. I might have to, I might have to taste it before y'all taste it. So I'm going to get a spoon, and I'm going to get a fork, because... I want to get um, the sauce. I want that sauce. 
with my spoon. I'm not getting a whole lot because I don't need a whole lot. <laughs> I'm going to heat my rice up. Just that little bit of rice is good enough for me. I'm not allowed to have a whole lot of rice. is today. I forgot that yesterday was Tuesday and tomorrow, which is today, is Wednesday. I was like, oh, because he said, he said, he said, so what videos you doing? And I said, I don't know. Right? And I was thinking of all these videos. I was going to do three videos. And I said, and something clicked and I said, if, I said, tomorrow's Wednesday. I need to be telling them what I'm cooking. I, I just lost all track of the day of the week. I don't know how you do that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Somebody wants to try this recipe. It's okay, because I'm going to let you try it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You didn't cook with me? No worries. I'm going to let you try this. Okay, let's pan down a little bit, and y'all can see what's happening. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Gina. You have done, Gina. You, mm, mm, mm. oops, there goes my socks. <laughs> Derek said that. I got some non bread here. And you see, I got a little bit of rice because I don't need a whole bunch. But take a look, y'all. I'm serious. Look at that. I know you called today, the 28th, and you said Monday. Oh, Ron, yes. Look at this. Now, look, 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 seriously. Um, when you look at the veggies, you can see they didn't turn into mush. You can see that the bell peppers still have texture, right? I'm so serious. The bell peppers have texture. That onion is still has texture. And, and, and kind of my tomato is still held up on itself. And look at the gravy just pulling onto 
the non bread. There you go. And guess what? You can do it. Anything that Gina Young can do, you can do it. You can do it too. Mimsy, you can do it. That looks delectable. Thank you. OMG, dang, that looks good. Do you just. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, y'all. Informed, welcome. I see Prince and Polo walking through your floor. Yes, they are. Did you take them to pee pee? Take them to pee pee because they've been laying down in the cage and I'm pretty sure they got to go. Okay, and then uh, we'll introduce the dogs to the people a little later. It looks like a five star dish. Well, thank you. So here's the thing. I'm, I, here's the thing, Sonia. I'm pricing, Sonia, I am pricing this meal. This is a regular naan. I love naan, y'all. Oh, and you got to heat it up. When you heat it up, it's like the best thing since sliced bread. Sonia, I'm pricing this meal. <laughs> oh, he said 25 No, on a serious note, this meal with the naan bread. I'm going to charge. I'm going to charge. I'm gonna try, let me think about it, y'all. I wanna say it, but I need to think about it. Um, $13. $13 for this meal. $15. <laughs> yes, it is, Nicole Stucco, it is. One more time, I'm gonna pan down, and y'all can see what we got going on here. We got some good stuff going on, okay? Come on, <laughs> make you some. Gina, I'm bringing everyone to your house. <laughs> Mildred, you are so funny. All right, y'all, how about it? How about it? <laughs> you will go in the hole on that one, Gina. <laughs> okay, okay, so, so 13, 13, I I'm trying to have decent prices. Oops, there goes my shoes, my socks and my shirt. <laughs> Derek, <laughs> hold on y'all, bear with me. I'm gonna move the camera around real quick like I'm nuts. Hold on, I wanna fix the camera to where I don't have any issues or the camera sliding down when I'm eating, okay? But I kinda want to show my plate while I'm eating, but I don't think I'll be able to show my plate and my face at the same time. So every once in a while, I'll chime in and just bring my plate up to the camera. Okay, we'll, we'll do it that way. Okay, the baby's pee pee outside. Did they go? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, there goes the camera. Can you fix the camera for me, please? And turn the fan on me? Please and thank you, I appreciate you. I like to be closer to the people so I can read their messages. There we go. Okay, y'all, let's do the dang on thing. You get a bite before I get a bite because I love y'all just that much. Okay, so Mildred says $20. Okay, Jay says, Gina, are you opening a restaurant? Right now I have no wants to open up a restaurant. I know it sounds totally nuts when I'm a cook. I know, but I, I'm not interested in opening up a restaurant. Not right now, but eventually, maybe. And I tell you what, y'all going to be the first person to know. The name, the location, and everything. Okay. Look at the gravy dripping. Oh, the gra Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I keep, I keep licking my fingers. Come on and take a bite. Let me know what you think about this recipe. $20, $25 for a plate. That would be a bargain. Do you have a video posted or on your page? Absolutely, I do. Let me see. And that is roll, roll with it. I, I have the video how to make this, I do. I have several videos. Look at that, y'all. I, I gotta do this before I taste. I'm going in. Mm. Where I'm not kidding. The meat is so tender. 
The meat is so tender, tender, juicy, flavy, flavorful. Mmm. 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 I gotta eat that whole tomato. Mmm. <laughs> Do the yummy dance. I, I gotta think of a dance right now. I can't even. I can't even think about dancing right now. That's so good. So now here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna take my naan bread and I just wanna slip. I just wanna go. I just wanna go. Here, let me show you what I wanna do. I'm gonna show you what I wanna do with my bread. I'm gonna show you. All right, come on, come uh oh you can't see my plate. Oh, I just wanna take this. I wanna go through, I wanna go, I wanna go through there with that. Ooh, ha <laughs> ha. You better make yourself. Mmm. Y'all. Mmm. Oh, heck no. I know. I know. Gina, I know it tastes good. There it is. Mmm. 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 That's the dance. I need a baker dance. It's the Anita Baker. Mm. <laughs> mm. Microphone coming off. Mm. Y'all, the meat is so tender. You might not see me eating a whole bunch of rice. On this one, I have steak, onions, gravy, and rice. Take a bite. I, I share. I do share. I share. I share. Sop it up, says Denise. <laughs> <laughs> Denise, sop it up, Gina. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. You don't listen. This meal can... Mm. This meal can be sold. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good, y'all. I wish y'all could come over here. I'm so serious. I'm drooling, <laughs> Derek. I am drooling over here. Look at this. I'm going in. Mm. You can't tell me nothing right now. Let me have a paper towel, please. Those tomatoes top it off. It does. <laughs> it can be so where exactly? <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Oh, get the fly. He got the fly already. He got the fly. I was so glad because it just would have been a horrible live if we could not get that fly. It would have been one of the worst things ever. I would have been swatting the fly, trying to cook, trying to teach. It just would have been a disaster. But I think, I do think, let me ask y'all and tell the truth. Would y'all think it was funny if, be honest, would y'all think it was funny if when I was cooking the fly was fr flying around bothering me? Would y'all think it was funny? Mm. He said yes it will be funny mm, they will they'll eat it all uh, Shakira said hell yeah it would be funny <laughs> oh cat lover how are you cat lover said no it wouldn't be funny <laughs> thank you cat lover take a bite y'all <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. listen I will have a nervous, <laughs> you would have had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> i tell you what, it ain't, baby, guess what you did when you left out of here? You let a horrible, huge fly in here. 
One of the horse flies. Oh, they was getting on you. They was get they was getting on you. They said he did. I say, I say yes, he done opened up that garage door and let this huge fly in here. Mm, I'm selling the tomatoes. Oh, yeah, you have to. So roll with it. He's in the bathroom. So roll with it. Um, says, what kind of meat? The meat is a, it is a um, beef stew meat, S-T-E-W meat. And look at it, y'all. I, 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 like, I, I'm telling you the truth. Look, look how gorgeous. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, they sting too, is that right? Mm. I can show y'all something. Look, look at the dogs running through here. They so happy. Hold on, watch. You can really see the dog fly through here. He's so happy his daddy is home. Watch him run through here again. He running through here like a like a bat out of somewhere. He's so happy his daddy is home. Did you buy it off the counter? Oh, um, the tomatoes. Um, I don't know because uh, the shopper did it for me, an Instacart shopper. Right. Can you use any type of beef steak? Yes. Yes, that was what I was explaining earlier. They had they lost their mind. You see them? Um, okay. So let's talk about the beef. You, you wanna taste that? Real quick. Just a, just Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So let's talk about the beef. What kind of beef can you use? Any type of steak, whatever type of steak you have, you can slice it down and use it for this recipe. I like to use the beef stew meat because it's always tender. But if you have a great steak, a great piece of beef that you like to use, use that, okay? Gina, I was hoping you didn't miss it. T-Love, you missed it. You missed the cooking, but we're still here and we're going to be chatting for a little while. Mm -hmm. Came in late. What are you preparing? Well, I'm not preparing anything. I um, just prepared a uh, pepper steak. Look at this bite, y'all. Look at the gravy just snuck in the nook and cranny right there. That is gravy. Oh, galore. Mm. Okay. Gina, to make this recipe healthy, what would you do? Mmm. turn around and I would use because for this gravy you need the sugar I would turn around and use the Splenda sugar to put into the recipe it would taste the exact same and I also may use a little bit less cornstarch but overall this is um, nice and healthy now, you also can use a low sodium soy sauce. Aha, <laughs> gotcha, I remembered that. And then also you can use a low sodium beef broth. And then you don't have to worry about how much you eat. You could turn around and use brown rice instead of white rice, right? There's a way to make things taste delicious that's healthy. And that's what I'm doing over on my other channel, proving to the world 
that healthy recipes can be made delicious. Did anybody see my recipe over on the other healthy channel? Showing you all how to make a crab stuffed salmon. I made crab stuffed salmon and turned my taste buds out yesterday. I was running around like the dog was just running around. It was that good. What was the special grain that you used? The special grain, when, tell me when. Um, tell me when, or tell me for what recipe. Tell me for what recipe. Does he have it, Tylenol? The grain that I use? I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about, but I'm not sure what recipe. The grain that I use? I don't know. What is non-bread? Well, you may want to look it up in the Indian culture and also in the Greek culture. They use non-bread. It is soft. It is delicious. It has somewhat of a yeasty taste. It is so good once you taste it. But when you're healthy, um, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll figure out what grain it was. Because i got to figure out what video you're talking about. Um, oh, when you have the non-bread, you must heat it up. You can purchase them where they have garlic flavor. You can purchase it where whether it's original flavor. But you have to heat it up for like 10 seconds. When you heat it up, it's like a, a, a burst of deliciousness in your mouth. Oh, Mary says during COVID, you made some of that bread yourself. Junior, can you use this recipe over noodles or mashed potatoes? Mmm. Sure you can. Sure you can. That's what's great about cooking at home. Because it don't have to be rice. There's a lot of people just don't like rice. My husband don't like rice. And you could use like a butter noodle or whatever type of noodles you like. Um, or mashed potatoes. I feel like it would be great with mashed potatoes, right? Good night, Valencia. Thank you for coming in. You Okay, so Ron says, uh, might have been a small pasta. Um, uh, is it a... I feel like it's right on the tip of my tongue and I can't think of it. Um, is it a couscous? I bet you it's couscous. I bet you it's couscous. I, I don't know, though. I'll have to see. Oh, you said make sure it's homemade mashed potatoes. Mm hmm So somebody in the chat says, you could sop that up with a biscuit, too. Absolutely, you could. Look at this, y'all. Look at this spoonful. So can you see how the gravy is just glazing over the beef? Somebody can see that. Mmm. Thank you. You said awesome cake recipe. Thank you. easy to make. I, I will make this any day of the week just because it's delicious. This is never a hard recipe to make. And just to answer the people in the background, once again, 
Use pork if you want. Use chicken if you like. And, and just follow the rest of the recipe. You're going to love it. Look, look at the, the gravy is outstanding. Mmm. Adam says, Gina not seeing it. Okay, let me see. I wish I could remember the recipe. Hmm. You said a grain that I use. Let me look on my healthy channel. It's on the healthy channel for the 4th of July a little bit. I'm going to, I might be grilling, but I don't know if I'm, uh, all depending on what day it's going to be. That will depend on if I'm going to do a video for you all. Let me see. Healthy recipes with Gina. So Ron, let's do this. So I did healthy fried chicken and cream spinach. I did stuffed salmon with crab meat. I did low carb lasagna. We did healthy spaghetti. We did vegan baked macaroni. We did grilled chicken, juicy turkey burgers, healthy salmon with asparagus. And then we did keto friendly uh, fajita stuffed chicken. And then we did meatloaf. Um, We did smothered chicken thighs and Brussels sprouts. We did the flounder and low carb spaghetti using spaghetti squash. I, I really have to wreck my brain to see what he's talking about. I'm not sure. You gonna think of it, you gonna think of it when it's bedtime, you gonna say, that's what it was. <laughs> stuffed. I can't eat anymore. Let me show y'all my plate. I can't. I can't. I can't eat another little bit. Woo, I'm done. And you see how I like to do? Y'all know when I make my rice, I know how much I can have and how much I should have. So I think out of that rice that I put on my plate, I may have ate like two, two spoons of rice. And I'm happy with that because I'm diabetic and I can't have it. But that little two spoons of rice is, it's okay. It's okay. I'm proud of myself that I held back on the rice and I didn't go nuts. Because if I would have went nuts on that rice, my sugar would be sky high. I am so satisfied with that recipe and your family is going to love you for this recipe. I love rice but can't eat a lot. Yep. Okay, you said Paula Dean can have a restaurant, so can you. <laughs> well, thank you. Thanks a lot. Yo, I was thinking about the other night when I went live. We had a good time. I wasn't on the live long, but we chatted. We had a good time. Let me see what you got right there. Is it, you're working on it? Turn it this way. Sonia's laughing. What happened, guys? Ron, I remember seeing that video, but I can't remember the name of it either. Now, I wonder if it's a video from this channel. Gina, take a walk for 30 minutes. That'll help digest your stomach. Oh, Adam, you bet it will. Absolutely. But I tell you what, <laughs> Adam, I just have to tell you, after doing this live and... Um, doing a video earlier i'm pooped i am pooped i'm tired i am so stinking tired after listen after i get off this live adam i gotta think about three videos to do tomorrow and then once i think about them i gotta write down the ingredients and then i gotta order the food <laughs> and do it all over tomorrow 
But I tell you what, I wouldn't trade it for nothing. I know, isn't that something? You said you can't believe this year is half over. And half of the summer. It seemed like, you said, it, it seems like um, the new year just passed. The, so the new year just passed. And like you said, here we are in the middle of the year. Like, how, how does it go by so fast? No, because you substituted the this wheat grain, maybe. Wheat grain. No. Um, substituted. I had to think about it. I, 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 I can't, I can't wreck my brain. I had to think about it. Gina, you be on it. You love what you do. That is good. Thank you so much. I do. I, I love it, Sonia. I really do. I love every bit of it. I go to sleep and I dream about the next live or, or the next recipe that I'm going to do, the next healthy recipe. I dream about the recipe and what I'm going to say to you all when I'm doing the video. Like, it, it's, 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 it's fun to me. I was never, ever a person that had a, uh, 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 what's the word that I'm looking for, y'all? You know how some people have hobbies? After I left high school, I didn't have a hobby. You know what I mean? I didn't have something that I like to do, like sewing or watching soap poppers or something that I like to do just to relax me. But cooking has always been instilled in me, and cooking is, is in me, and I just love it till my heart's content. But now I can do what I love, and it relaxes me. Even though I get tired at times, it relaxes me because I'm doing what I love to do. Just like if you're a person that likes to sew, and you get to come on here and show people how to sew it would be fun for you and it's not like work because that's what you do you could probably sew like this and then you're coming on and you're just teaching people it's like doing it with your hands behind your back and your eyes blindfolded you know it is that's what it's like for me that like i said there is times where i get so stinking tired i was tired the other day y'all I was tired. I did a video and I was stumbling my words. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't get none of the words right. And I was just thinking, hi, I'm pooped. <laughs> Charlene Bell, welcome, welcome, welcome. Susan Finley, welcome. Okay, you said, I love to sing. I want to start a YouTube channel and just sing on there. Okay, so let me tell you, Shakira, Shakira or uh, let me make sure I'm saying your name right, Shakira, uh, Shakira Sutton. So here's the thing about singing. YouTube don't allow you to sing. Now, uh, because of copyright reasons. So I don't know how they do videos where they're singing. Unless. You turn around and you do a YouTube channel where you're not monetizing it. That means you don't get paid for what you're doing, right? So like I know somebody that has, they have two channels. One of their channels is monetized. The other channel is not monetized because they like to play music and possibly sing on there and um but they also know on their other channel monetization and monetize means you're getting paid from youtube okay so they know on the other channel that they can't play music because youtube will shut your channel down it's just a rule for everybody so they have this other channel and they can play music so maybe you could do that. 
Oh, you said steak. What? What do you say it? <laughs> so shake chakra. I, I can't. I don't know what you're saying. So shock I rock. I I don't know what that means. I ain't going to sleep until I find that recipe. I'll email you when you find it out. Yeah, find it. You'll you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. But like I said, and the only way I think you could do that is if you decided that you wanted to do it for fun and just not get paid from YouTube. Then I think you could do it. But I also know that people have reaction. You, you ever seen any yeah, people do reaction videos where they're reacting to the people singing? So when they do that, and they're playing people singing in there, and they're reacting to the people singing, maybe they're not monetizing their channel. That's the only thing I can think of. He is determined. It's okay, it okay, it is not said like the singer's name. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on, there's two of you. Wait a wait a minute. Okay, so this is, okay, so I got Shakira Seeley. <laughs> Shakira Sutton is not said like the singer's name. So I think I got Shakira <laughs> and Shakira. I don't know. I Y'all mixing me up. Y'all mixing me up. Oh, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. But you can always look up the YouTube guidelines, you know, because I, I could totally be wrong, you know. Look up the guidelines and see how you could do that. And if it's something that you're able to do, you got to be strong. You got to have tough skin. And you got to pray over your channel. And you got to put out content often. People want content often. They don't want one video a week because they ain't going to be happy. They're going to go find somebody else to watch. Right? You got to be available and readily available putting content out, you do. Hey everyone in the chat, Cat Slap, welcome back. Gina, I missed you so much. Cat Slap, thank you. Informed Rain says, or sing on your, sing your own songs, there you go. That's a great one. But it can't be songs that have ever been made up. Because if you're singing somebody else's song, They'll get you for copyright reasons for singing their song even if you're not playing music i know <laughs> i told you gina i'm gonna be on your front porch arca huge is wow that's so funny that's so funny yo my hands why are my hands so dry Ooh, my hands is dry. I, I don't know if y'all can see on my knuckles. That's dry skin right there. I peeled a scab on my knuckle. So listen, for the people that cooked today, did you enjoy the recipe? Are you still in here? Did the recipe turn out delicious? Was it easy to make? Let me know, was the recipe easy? Did you have a great time? Okay, you said, um, your name is T, 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 what's your name? T. Rez. You said, what's up, Miss Gina? I make my girl watch your videos. Oh, great. Does she enjoy it? I hope she enjoys it and she's able to get something out of it. Don't make her watch it. <laughs> I hope she enjoys it, though. No smoke in my area. No. No. The recipe sounded great, easy to make. Don't confuse her anymore with those names. <laughs> Cocoa butter works great. On cracked dry skin. Sonia, I just got a bottle. I just got a bottle of the 100% cocoa butter. 
cocoa butter. I'm gonna put it on there. Can you see that dark mark? I'm gonna put it on there. I got um, three bottles came in a uh, package through Amazon and I put the cocoa butter all over. So I, I really like it. I'm gonna put it on my hands. Kathy, hello. Gina, how's your gardening going? Flowers outside. They're doing very well. They're doing very well. I've been so busy. I need to get out there and deadhead the flowers. And when I say deadhead them, I need to take some of the dead leaves off, some of the dead flowers, and you know, put them in a, a waste basket. And then uh, just give them a nice water. So they look great because they look great because we haven't had a whole lot of hot sun. So, but on days that you have hot sun, you got to make sure you water them. But they look beautiful. I can show you all the ones out back. And then maybe I, I would show you all the ones out front. Let's see. I may just show you the ones out back. Let me take you. I'm taking you with me. You're going with me. You're going out back. You're getting ready to see the flowers. Come on with me. These are the ones that we did last. So, hold on. How do I flip this thing? Okay, there we go. Here they are, y'all. Remember? Remember we did this out back? Hopefully y'all can see it. So look at my marigolds. They came along, didn't they? Yeah, don't water them before the hot sun. They'll bake. And then we put some... Um, can y'all see the lights that we put in the ground? They look really nice. So that's in the backyard. <laughs> we need to clean this area up. Me and my husband was here last night and we was on that couch last night back there. We could have fell asleep. It was so nice. Thank you. I'm gonna show you the front, but I gotta keep the uh, camera down towards the ground so y'all don't see my neighborhood <laughs> all right we're going out front keep in mind i gotta get rid of some of the dead flowers okay so let me flip this camera did y'all know i had that blue light going down to the basement guess what you know how y'all just asked me did uh do we have uh what's it called fog it's smoky out here it is i haven't been outside to even see so let me show y'all the flowers remember this remember the hosta wasn't that big y'all He said, yeah, you had the blue light when you fell down the basement steps. <laughs> you see that one? See how I got to get rid of some of those yellow flowers? There they are. Those are the sun patients that we put in. And that's the geranium. See, now that right there, that flower right there, you see where I got to deadhead and get rid of that. Susan is laughing because I did. I fell down the steps, y'all. Let me show you these pink flowers, y'all. Now, these come up every year, so I didn't plant these. Okay. All right, losing connection. <laughs> I went outside, I started losing connection. I, I seen y'all say, it's buffering, Gina. like cone flowers see i don't even know what those are called because i didn't put those in they were there when i moved in uh. 
for. Hold on, y'all. Let me see. Dee 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 dee. -de. Hold on. Okay, let me look at the flowers. Gina, have you ever thought about growing your own vegetables? I haven't, not just yet. I don't feel like this is the backyard to grow my own vegetables. Not yet. I want to, I think what we're going to wind up doing is selling this home, possibly. Um, purchasing another home, because we're looking for a different backyard. We want a different backyard. It's going to be bigger that we can put a pool in and we could have enough room for maybe like a, 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 um, a vegetable garden. But this isn't the backyard for it. It's just not. It's just not. We do love this backyard, but we would also love another backyard. So, uh, yeah, and, and a lot of HOAs, just like he said, will not let you put a garden in there. On a serious note, you might not be able to put a garden in and you have HOA. Right. Right. HOA is really strict. Right. Mm -hmm. How will the fish survive moving to a new place? I, you know what? I ain't got, I don't have a clue. But I think that my husband will do everything in this world to save those fish. I do. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know how he's going to do it. I'm going to ask him tonight. Like, baby, what are we going to do? Especially if we move, you know, like, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on one second. I'm looking at my computer. One second. I ain't going nowhere. Hold on. Oh, so especially if we move, like, if we purchase a home in a whole nother city, how will the fish survive? There might be a way to, I'm confused on what we would even do. I don't know what we would do, but I know he, he's got a hundred gallon tank in the basement, fish galore in the basement. I don't know how we would transfer those fish, but I can tell you this. Let me tell you this. Hold on. I'm looking at my video, making sure. Oh, I can tell you this. We have had fish delivered to us before coming from different cities and they last. So maybe we'll just send them the way that they send the fish to us when we order them. You can order fish on Amazon. Did you know that? <laughs> you can order fit. You can order fish online. <laughs> you can, Amazon. You can order fish everywhere and they can, they'll send them right to you. He'll figure it out. I know, Susan. Thank you. You would love another fish tank with fish. Oh, cat slat. Go to PetSmart or Walmart and ask, will they know how to transport them? Oh, will Amazon really? Yes, yes, really on Amazon. <laughs> on a serious note. Fish supply. Yeah, it's so funny. Look on there. Look on there. Thank you, Ashton. So, are we buffering? Oh, Ron, I hope we ain't. Are you kidding? You pulling my ankle. It's not buffering. I don't think it is. Miss Gina, can you please show us how to make homemade Alfredo sauce? Absolutely. Now, listen, G. Hughes. Oh, you can see me. I'm fine. No, everything's okay. G. Hughes, Alfredo sauce is made so easy. You are going to take Parmesan cheese. I'm just telling you now, just because I could talk food all day. Parmesan cheese, and I like to use the Parmesan cheese that's grated, not the kind that's shredded. So the kind like that comes out the shaker bottle, sometimes it's in a bag. I'm going to use Parmesan cheese, heavy whipping cream, 
and butter. And that is Alfredo sauce. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder. That is how you make it. I know, it's, it's nuts. That, that's all this to it. But I have showed you in the video how, how to make it. Um, it's so simple. Just those few ingredients. Nope, it's not buffering. Okay. <laughs> what happened, Ron? <laughs> he said, don't make me hurt you. <laughs> I needed this recipe today on Alfredo sauce. Oh, man. Alf listen, listen. But let me say something, y'all. Um, when I did the video the other day with the spaghetti that I made with the hot dogs in it, I poured Alfredo sauce in it. It was jarred Alfredo sauce that comes out the jar. Let me just tell you. When you can purchase the Alfredo sauce out the jar, it is spectacular. Even though I know how to make the Alfredo sauce, I just told you how to make it, right? M mine's a spectacular, theirs is spectacular. So if you get in a bunch and you think, I don't wanna make it or I don't have time, get it in the jar because it's delicious and I promise you it's good. Okay, purple up. Can you use coconut milk or almond cashew when you're allergic to milk? Okay, can you use coconut milk or almond cashew allergic to regular milk? Look it up because I'm not sure or ask your doctor. I just don't want to relieve you in the, right, in the wrong direction. Okay, when it comes to people being allergic to stuff, I'm kind of iffy about answering those questions. I don't want to steer nobody in the wrong direction, you know, because I'm not a doctor. Do you, you know what I mean? Is Drew still here? I don't know. I tried those who, I tried to those who don't buffer. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Oh, he left. Okay, okay. <laughs> Susan said, yours tastes better, Gina. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, I appreciate it, but like I said, it's so simple. So, so uh, G. Hughes, turn around and take a half a stick of butter. Um, you're going to use some heavy cream, about a cup and a half. Okay, take a nice handful of the Parmesan cheese, heat it up together you have um, Alfredo sauce, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. I know, it's that simple, right? Gina, can you or Mr. Young eat fish while watching your fish tank? <laughs> I was dared once to eat a burger in front of a cow and couldn't do it. What the heck kind of question is that? That is a total crazy question. Let me read it again. Trader Joe's is the best non bread. Oh, is that right? Okay, G. Hu just says, okay. All right. So uh, I got the non bread at Walmart. Okay, great. Okay, Gina, can you or Mr. Young eat fish while watching your fish tank? I don't know. I'm going to have to ask him, can he do it? I never even thought of, as much as I like fish, thinking or looking at the fish tank while I'm eating fish. But I love some good fried fish, right? But I, always, I told them a story on here where my husband likes Kempers. They're, they're like sardines. And they come in a can. And normally what we'll do is uh, like you open it up and you pour the oil off. They're packed in oil. It's just like sardines, but they're called Kempers. And um, he likes to put mustard hot sauce and eat them with crackers, right? He's always did ever since we met. <laughs> but since we had a fish tank and we had a number amount of fish die, he opened up the kippers one day and he said, you know what? And I said, what? He said, I couldn't do it. I said, why? He said, it looked like all my fish was just 
laying. <laughs> he did. He said, look like all my fish was just laying in that, in that, you know how they're in that tin thing? He said, look like all my dead fish in there. He said, so I couldn't do it. So I don't know if he's ever going to be able to eat sardines ever again because he's seen so many dead fish. <laughs> so it, it was funny when that happened. <laughs> That's why I never, okay, why, okay, why didn't you never eat Alfredo sauce? Let's see. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> okay, Shakira said, heck, I'll climb in the fish tank and eat it. <laughs> Eat a pork chop in the front of a, in front of a pig, <laughs> y'all. That is the craziest question you could ever ask me. It's so funny. Could you eat a hamburger in front of a cow? I'm gonna ask my husband. He gonna crack up at y'all. <laughs> oh, you love the stories. That's great, y'all. I love telling a good story. I love if I have a good story for you. I love to tell it. I do. I do. <laughs> Mary, Mary says, sounds like a cat. Can I use almond or cashew or even coconut milk, but regular milk tears up your stomach? Oh, yeah, you would have to ask your doctor or find out. Because I, I can't tell you what milks you can have that won't tear your stomach up. Because right now I'm trying to figure out what issues I have with my top of my stomach. My surgeon had told me it's something that I could possibly be allergic to. So very soon I got to find time to go see a food allergist to see what I'm allergic to so that my stomach doesn't bloat at the top. Today was a day where my stomach is flat as the board of health today. But that's today. Doesn't mean tomorrow that the top of my stomach won't be bloated. You know, it, it's so weird, too, because people are like, uh, you had it. You just had a tummy tuck. I'm like, I know, but my stomach's bloated at the top. But today, it's just as flat. But so I'm having days where my stomach's going up and down, up and down, because it's the food. So I'm not sure what's making my stomach bloat. Oh, you can use any type of milk. It doesn't bother you. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, so Purple Love says I can use any other type of milk and it doesn't bother you. Oh, okay, okay. Lactose-free milk could help, says Ron. Ron is saying that lactose-free milk might help you. Oh, absolutely, Cat Slat. You, you like the lactate milk? Okay. If you had cats... They will be up in the fish tank. If you had cats, they'll be in the fish tank. Is that right? Oh, lactose free is your best friend. Is that right? Maybe I, does it taste like regular milk? Be honest. I'm saying if it don't taste like regular milk, tell me. But if it tastes like regular milk, I'd love to try it. Almond milk tastes like almonds to me. It just does. Even if it's the unsweetened, you know how you can get the sweetened kind? Even if it's the unsweetened kind, it tastes like almonds. And I feel like that's not what I want when I'm having a bowl of cereal, you know? Okay, so Thomas says the lactate is lactate, lactate free, uh, lactose free. Yeah, does lactose taste like regular milk, Mary? That's what I'm saying. So you said fair life lactose free milk tastes like regular milk. Okay, Angela. Okay, so Cat Slat said they don't like lactose free. <laughs> Ron. <laughs> Sonia says, yes, I love the lactose free ice cream. Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to try it. Just to be able to say that I've actually tried it, you know, and whether I liked it or I didn't, I, I want to try it to say that I've tried it and I like it or I don't. Because you can't knock something until you try it, right? It has 
to be the fair life. Okay, Angela, yeah. And I know what you're talking about because I've seen that name brand. Oat milk is good. Ah, I've had the oat milk and I wasn't a fan of it. I wasn't a fan of the oat milk. Skim milk. My grandma used to drink uh, skim milk, Derek. The kind with the light blue lid to it. Gina, is fair life any good? I, I don't know. I'm going to try it. Okay, Gina, onions contain a soluble fiber known as fructin. Fructin. <laughs> I, I don't know how to read it. Which can wreak havoc on your digestive tract. And some dairy, so, dairy soda, this is what may be causing your stomach. Oh, Nicole. Okay. It could be. Okay. Okay. Have you tried cheesecake ice cream? I, I think I've had it. I think I've had it and I enjoyed cheesecake ice cream. It was like the best thing, right? It was. <laughs> uh uh, no goat milk for me. <laughs> Anybody want to be your lawyer? <laughs> Y'all are funny. Okay, so Sonia said the fair life. You brought Wegmans brand almond milk, and it only has three ingredients. <gasps> it's expensive. Isn't that something? How things that's good for you or things that, you know, it's just healthy for you are expensive. Think about fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables can sometimes be absolutely so astonishingly, is that a word? Can be unbelievably expensive. The Parker, welcome, hello. Thank you for coming in. A G Hu just says, Ron and Derek are funny. Oh, Fairlife makes a really good chocolate milk. It's always like that the best things, the best things healthier for you, it costs the most. Very expensive and it's sad. Y'all, listen, the prices of everything is going up. The prices of eggs, the prices of bread, the prices of milk and cheese. I can't believe the prices of things. I can't. I mean, talk about high prices. If y'all want to talk about high prices, let's talk about food prices. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous if I ever seen it. Bread so expensive. I I know, I know. You'll send me some. <laughs> Gina, what foods are good for bone health issues? Oh, I don't I don't I don't know. I, I don't know. You have to ask your doctor. I'm so sorry. <laughs> The prices, Miss Karen says, the prices are ridiculous. You bet they are. Okay, so Patricia, welcome in. Everybody welcome Patricia Burnett. And you say, hi, Gina, I'm kind of new. Been a subscriber for a couple of months now. Just wanted to say hi. Not cooking with you tonight, but we'll be taking notes. Patricia, welcome. Welcome in, and thank you for coming in and joining us. So we've already cooked. We cook when we first come into the live. And then we've already cooked. We said an amazing prayer. We ate, and now we're chit-chatting. But thank you for coming in. If you would like to join me on Saturday... I'm gonna be live again, and I'm gonna be cooking at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this Saturday, okay? So it'll be Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and Saturday at 4 p.m. But thank you for coming in and joining. We appreciate having you here. 
Oh, you said gas is going back up too? Oh, okay, so Derek says, I thought I heard inflation was supposed to go down within a few months. Oh, it would be great. It would be great. I don't think it has yet, but it would be great. Oh, Susan says in California, the gas is so expensive. I could imagine the price of living in California is absolutely ridiculous. Wow. Well, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to live in California, y'all. I'm kicking it with Donna. Yes, Gina, the food prices is high. Okay, so Cat Slat says, Mildred, did I say hi to you? <laughs> so here's what I was. Visit, let's see, you said visit, but not live. Visit, but not live. <laughs> visit, but not live. I'm, try, I'm, try, I'm trying to figure that out. Have you ever tried Korean ice cream? Korean ice cream rolls. I haven't. Oh, you said why I was born California. Uh, no, no, I, I just heard that it's it's not really, um, like the price of living is really high. And, and then I've heard some other things, and I thought, uh, you know, because years ago, everybody used to say, I'd love to go live in California. But me, not so much. After hearing certain things and knowing that the price is a sky high, that's why I have to say that. I'm like, man, I wouldn't want, you know? Y'all, I had mosquitoes eating me up last night when I was outside in that backyard. <laughs> Cat Slap said, we all need a Flintstone car. <laughs> I got some Flintstone vitamins. <laughs> Korean ice cream roll. Uh-uh, Ron, don't you dare. Ron, don't you even. <laughs> Ron needs one of them. <laughs> Why y'all messing with each other? <laughs> it's like brothers on here messing with each other. buy you'll buy Derek's <laughs> how funny how funny how funny <laughs> so listen let's talk about what's going to happen on Saturday and this is definitely going to happen this Saturday on Saturday I decided to go ahead and make the beef stroganoff it's written in stone it's written in stone. The recipe will not be changed to anything else. I'm going to do the beef stroganoff on Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be a delicious recipe. And the beef will be made very similar to how we cook the beef today to make sure that it's nice and tender. We're gonna have an amazing gravy to it. We're gonna fold in a little bit of sour cream. Okay, but it's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna have a lot of fun on Saturday. So beef stroganoff is what we are doing this Saturday coming up 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure y'all show up. We're gonna have a lot of fun. If there's some people in this chat, and I know there's some, uh, some people in here that would love to see beef stroganoff, I'm making it for you. I'm going to be right in the flesh showing you all how easy it is to make. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. And for those people, I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. We are having it Saturday. Okay? It's not going to be switched up. Now, there may be some people in the back. Oh, goody. There may be some people in the back that... um want to make it but you want to use chicken 
go ahead and purchase chicken. And I'll be talking to you in the background telling you what you need to do to your chicken. Okay? And you can use it for the beef stroganoff recipe, but I'm using beef. Okay? Uh-huh, Nicole. <laughs> that's great. Yes, that's great. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Y'all, I never was a person to ever like the color yellow. I just never liked it. But I must say, I think I like yellow when I wear it. But I don't like the color yellow at all. But when I put it on, I, I kind of like the way it, 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 it is up, up against my skin. So I guess maybe I'm not a person that hates yellow. I think I hate red more than I hate yellow. <laughs> I don't like orange. You can't get me to like orange for nothing. I don't like orange. Orange and red, mm-mm. <laughs> G. Hugh just says, I can't with you, Rob. <laughs> Going to the store tomorrow, what kind of beef do I need? You can turn around and get the same kind. Get the beef stew meat. But if you're a person, everybody's a person <laughs> but if you're a person in there that out, out here that you have some beef in your in your freezer or something you just want to take it out you can use it okay um let's just say you got some steaks or something you want to use them go ahead all right but i'm using the beef stew meat sometimes it's called stew beef meat and it's in the little chunks just like we use today Okay, beef stew meat is what we're going to be using. Okay, and I'm going to be using, um, you can, for the stroganoff, you can put stroganoff over noodles, over egg noodles, or over homemade potatoes. Okay, I'm going to do both. And then that way, for the people that would like to see it be put over top of potatoes, I'll show you a plate like that. Or the people that want to see it be put over top of some egg noodles, I'll show you a plate like that. So I'll use both. Okay? So the beef stew meat is what I'm going to use. I'm just going to use a pound. A pound of the meat. Oh, you're getting double? Okay, okay, okay. And for Saturday. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to have fun. Thank you all for coming in and joining me today. I love each and every one of y'all. I thank you for coming in, joining me. I thank y'all for loving me. I can't wait till Saturday because we're gonna have a good time and I'm gonna spend more time with you. I'm gonna spend more time with you uh, than I did today on Saturday. On Saturday, we'll, we'll chat it up and have a good time for a couple of hours, all right? You love lavender, it's your favorite color. Lavender is actually a very pretty color. Mine's is blue. All colors of blue, I love blue. I really like cobalt blue. Oh my goodness, I love blue. I love every shade of blue. Purple is yours. Oh, purple love, okay. <laughs> I'm going to do the camping. I just don't know when, but, but we'll do it. We'll do it. And one day we'll have some good fun. All right. Give me a hug, y'all. I'm getting ready to get off. Remember, we're going to have fun on Saturday. Tomorrow you're going to see me. I'm doing, um, well, you're not going to see me live, but you'll see videos from me. I got some great videos planned ahead. And I want to surprise you with the videos that I'll be making for this channel tomorrow. And I may just put out a video on the Healthy Channel as well. You're just, you'll, you'll, you'll see, all depending on how much energy I have. Give me a hug. Yes, Cat Slack, give me a big old hug. I ain't getting off of here without a big old hug. Give me a hug, y'all. I love y'all so much. I appreciate each and every one of you all. And listen, tell your family and friends. Tell everyone you know about Gina Young what I'm doing in this here kitchen on a daily basis. Tell them to come join the live. They'll have a lot of fun. I'm getting off of here. I love you. I love you.
These kisses and hugs going out to each and every one of you. I'll see you on Saturday. God bless and have a great night. Thank you to my amazing moderators, Ron Wilson, Sonia, hold on, what happened? And Mildred. Have a great night, everybody. I love you all. See you Saturday.